Hi. Um, welcome to Nishi's Noggin, where I'm going to share with you what's been on my mind. And first and foremost, probably the first, second, and third thing that's been on my mind is how the hell I'm going to answer all your questions. So here we go. <laughs> now for context, if you don't know like any specifics about my backstory, that's totally okay. I did nine years of morning radio, started off in my hometown of Phoenix, shout out to Phoenix, then syndicated to Los Angeles and then got to move to where I now reside, the city of Chicago. And I love Chicago. Now I did say that I did nine years of radio because as of this recording, I am currently without a gig. Unexpected? <laughs> yeah. I've never had this happen to me before, just to be all the way real with you. Nine solid, honestly, anything. I, 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 this has never happened to me. I've never had such an unexpected thing happen in my professional life. And when I think about all the stuff that I've been seeing on the news, what people have been posting on social media, talking about how many people have been fired, how many people got laid off, these corporations that are dissolving entire departments or whole ass companies, they're just dismantling and just saying, girl, we just, we're just gonna not even control alt delete, we're just gonna delete. I freak the fuck out. And with no consent of my own, I have been learning a lot more about my anxiety, okay? And how, how visible, <laughs> how visible it is. Maybe if you want to, I could tell that story at a different time because mental health, we stand. I mean, we it's important. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk about that another time. We're gonna focus on answering your questions specifically to everybody that's been asking me, what happened? This is what I'm gonna say to you. That question is fucking rude, okay? Now, this might not be your intention, but I just wanna be clear. Like, I would consider this chapter in my life to be a loss. And as an adult, I've experienced losses now. I lost one of my best friends. I lost an ex of mine and my mother. And now my hopes, my dreams. This is a moment of chaos in my life. All right. Like just keeping it all the way real. Like I, I, I'm going crazy. So I'm assuming that if you subscribe or you follow or you know me, I don't care. I've, I got this from every different direction. If you know me and you're trying to be a caring person and you come to me and the first thing that you say to me is, what happened? You're missing the mark. That's not showing me that you are a person that's caring or just someone that cares about me. You're interested in the gossip. Gossip does not equal caring. Now, let me be very clear. I love gossip. I love gossip. I love celebrity gossip. I love personal gossip with the people that I know, with the people that they know. I don't need you to gossip about me when I'm feeling vulnerable. Gossip about me behind my back like a civilized person. Talk your sh behind people's back. You weirdo. Why are you coming to my face to tell me that? I, I don't... <sighs> Girl, so anyways, as someone who loves gossip, my advice to you is, is to gossip behind that person's back like a normal person. If that resonates with you, blessings. I don't hold any grudges towards anybody that came at me from different perspectives. No offense, but you're probably just uneducated. Sorry. Now, the other thing that I wanted to address now that I am a free agent, as of this moment, that's definitely going to change. My job is to entertain, okay? And that's a job that I have made my own from a very, very young age. I honestly, I, I would say that that's something that I have like a spiritual connection to and I could go into all of that shit, but all you need to know is that's what kind of homosexual this one is. Homosexual. What does that that's mean? That's you. No matter what, I was always entertaining. And during those nine years, I'm really proud of the fact that I was highly consistent with my level of professionalism, even when that may not have been the environment that I was in. And also, quite frankly, I was also presenting joy, even if that wasn't the scenario. I'm very happy about that. I'm very proud of that. I can I can walk, I'm, I'm walk away and be like, okay, I kind of ate that up, but to the people that are asking Anish, come back, come back. I wanna address that one. To be quite honest with you, if I got a great offer, I would move back to Phoenix. I grew up there, I have my foundation there, but 
I want to continue my answer with this. And I hope that you pick up what I'm putting down. Okay. I've dated a few men in my life. Not too many. But let's just say, for example, try dating some uh, some new guy. We went out maybe three months and realized that it just wasn't working out. There's always that little, like, voice in my head that's just like, well, maybe you should call your ex. I mean, he's dead. But maybe you should call your ex. I mean, it was familiar. It was comfortable. And, um, you know, I was with him for a reason, right? Yup. 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 Yep. So that's going to make everything better then to go back to my ex, right? No. No! The breakup happened for a reason. Very valid reasons. Okay? And on top of all of that, I feel like everybody has got their own thing going. Let me just cut the vagueness for a second. We're talking about where I came from, from Phoenix, the show that I came from, from Phoenix, right? They're creating their own thing, and I love that for them, and I genuinely think that that is what it's supposed to be. When people move on, you have to allow them the freedom to do that. I was allowed that, and I think it's important to let other parties do that as well. They're creating their own thing, and I wish them all the best. I mean, I, I just, I don't want to go backwards. I don't want to. And, like, I wasn't even, like, invited to go. Like, what the hell? Not that there's nothing wrong. I, there's no. Oh, shit. Listen, I have no ill will towards anybody that I worked with in the past. And I would actually, I'm going to go as far as to say this. I feel like I had the honor of working with some of the most talented people in radio, in entertainment, and I would go as far as to say possibly of all time. Yeah. I would stand 10 toes down on that. I would. I learned a lot of, I learned a lot. I think about now that I'm out of that world at the moment. I think about how cool it was and how much I underestimated the fact that I was walking around people like in that world and like you're really, you're making something in the world. And I always knew that about what I was doing. This is the ego. I always knew that that's what I was doing, but I underestimated that that's what all of the other people that were in those buildings were doing as well. And it's, it was an honor. It was great. With that being said, please just let it be. Everybody's moving in their own directions. We're moving forward. So please don't come to me trying to talk shit about some of the people that I used to work with or sharing with me your opinions about it. I really don't wanna hear about it, positive or negative. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't wanna hear about it. Again, it's rude. Like, imagine me, I came up to you and I was just like, girl, your cousin Maxine, that outfit is trash. Like, who the, what? Please, I'm just trying to establish some boundaries. I'm trying to figure out how I can also at the same time be comfortable with being a little bit more honest with you. This in particular is, uh, this is as honest as I can be if you catch my drift, but this has been one of the things that's been on my mind and I wanted to share that with you and I hope that that was able to give you some clarity as to what's going on with me. Um, and that's why I'm starting Nishi's Knockin'. So welcome and thank you for joining. If you enjoyed yourself or you like me, you could always hit the like button, hit that thumbs up to show YouTube that you like me. Drop a comment, let me know what your thoughts are if you have a question, and hit that subscribe button. I think that the button goes rainbow when I say that, hit the subscribe button. This is episode number one of Nishi's Noggin, and I didn't wanna just do one, so, Somewhere here or here, there's going to be another video that I happen to be dropping right now. So I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for joining. Bye.